So I'm going to change up how the water comes into this for the water heater into the cabin from our storage tank. This line always freezes and busts. I, you know, it's my fault. I need to make sure it's drained, but you know how it is. Lazy, I guess. So I do have and have had for a long time this diverter where we can winterize the cabin. The problem was this pipe ran, runs, it did run down over up under the cabin and out the side and that's where the supply water came in. So uh, I'm going to change that up and the box that I've built on the side of the cabin that has the water heater in it and the propane bottle. I'm going to do something like this, mount this and elbow out through the side. And then it's just this, these few brass fittings that would be the water coming in that wouldn't be winterized or have antifreeze in them. Um, next time I come out here, I ordered a bunch of PEX material. I'm going to cut all of the CPVC out. I'm going to reroute how I did the plumbing. Uh, I'm going to go through the side of the cabin out of the back of this box and go into a wet wall for the shower. And that's going to have almost all of the plumbing that's vulnerable. You know, it'll be inside the cabin. I'm going to get started. Still haven't figured out exactly where. I think I'm going to put it somewhere around here. Um... But I'll, I'll record as I go. Let's see how this works out.
give it a little bit of a bend for expansion and contraction. I don't know how much this pipe moves, but I'd rather not break the pump. It's actually a PEX fitting, but it should work fine for this. Okay, so now, whenever you're gonna winterize the cabin, just take that cap off and add this hose. Flip the valve to like that and drop the end of this tube down into the jug of RV antifreeze. Run your spigots until they turn pink. That'll take care of it. So uh, I'm gonna finish, I have a, a half inch to uh, male hose adapter. I'm gonna put that on the other side of this nipple on the outside and that'll that'll finish this up. I am, going, like I said, I'm gonna cut all of the CPVC out and I'm gonna run packs. A bit of Teflon tape. That's where it's coming in now. It used to come in right here. This is about three feet of tubing. And you know, I think it's the third time that it's frozen busted with a little short piece of brass fittings. I'm not gonna have any more trouble with that. So you only have about four or five inches of brass fittings that um, don't have antifreeze in it. Screw this easy and there'll be no more problems. So that's a good fix. Do kind of an update on the water system. Um, the tank's full. Getting good clear water. Um, we're using it for showers and washing dishes and washing your hands and stuff like that. We still bring um, jugs of water like this to make our coffee with and if you want a glass of water or whatever. But um, this is easy. We don't have much room in here. Could do a life straw or 
Berkey system or something like that, but it's just not a lot of room in here to put something like that in here. Easy to bring a jug, but we have plenty of water for showers and washing your hands and doing dishes and stuff. Hot and cold, it's hot water. It takes a little bit of time, but there it is, it's hot. That's pretty convenient. <laughs>